air filters, water filters. Do you have some running in your home or are you using your body to filter your air and your water? Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. So what in the world am I talking about? Do you know even in the mountains of Colorado today, you can't find pure, clean air to fill your lungs and your breathing? There's no place on earth that still has clean air. That's how bad the pollution is. It travels all around the planet. And the same is true with the water. You know, I live near New York City, and I find it quite amusing the number of people who believe the marketing telling them we have clean water in New York. I have never been any place in New York City where I didn't get nauseous from somebody turning on a tap or going in a shower because there is so much chlorine in the water. But there are the things you don't smell too, the fluoride, the more than 700 chemicals including pharmaceuticals, and all the toxins that get dumped in the water supply. Now New York City might have cleaner air than other municipalities. It doesn't make it clean. Plus the fact that the water coming into the city can only be as clean as the water towers on each building and the pipes in each building. And the EPA does not have a staff to go around checking all of those for safety. The thing is, you drink the water and what you may not be thinking about is the water that's coming in when you shower. There is so much chlorine in your water that a five minute shower gives you the equivalent of drinking eight eight ounce glasses of chlorinated unfiltered water in a five minute shower. Can you imagine what's going on in your body? But your skin well, yeah, that's the largest organ, organ in your body, taking all of it in. But what about the air, the vapor, the chlorine that's coming in, the chlorine that's outlawed in Europe, but it's used here because it's a cheaper way to clean water than the safer ways they use there. So you are taking that in through your skin and in through your lungs. But you don't have to do that. You can go get an air filter. You can go get a water filter to make your water safety. You have to be careful. There are a lot of scams out there. A lot of expensive machines that do not filter out all those things. It's pretty hard to find a water filter that gets fluoride. And fluoride's one of the most dangerous chemicals in our environment. Of course, they don't allow that in other parts of the world, but it's here. So, that takes care of what's going on with your air and your skin, and if you go down there, there are some links to some of the better air filters. Now, how did I come to realize all this is going on? Well, I've been a health fanatic 46 years, so I've known stuff like that, but I hadn't made the connection when you're not using those filters in your home, that you are the filter. Until a month ago, when some really weird, unexplained phenomenon happened in my home, no one's been able to figure out the cause, including the home inspector who had come out to try and help us solve the mystery. I was suddenly coughing really badly, and I was sneezing. I never get sick. So I knew the coughing and the sneezing had to be something in my environment because there was no way I was sick. And then one day, I happened to be looking in the kitchen when the sun was pouring in and I couldn't see my appliances and I couldn't see my furniture in there because the haze was so thick with this thick gray dust. That's what I had been inhaling. And then I looked or notice my air filters were covered with this stuff. 
I couldn't change the filter because my filters were so old, they no longer make the replacement filters, but I did find some amazing new filters, and it's been so long since I purchased mine that you can get a really good one for a really low, reasonable price. So be sure you go down below and check out and invest in your health, because here's what happens when you don't invest. You will, as the toxins build up in your body, you will eventually be paying a whole lot more money hoping you can find someone to cure the results of all those toxins that you've been breathing, that you've been allowing in through your skin with soaps and emollients and lotions and potions and whatever you're cleaning your house with. If you live in a newer home that's airtight, yeah, it's designed to keep the heat in in the winter, to keep the air conditioning in in the summer, in the heat of the summer out. But in so doing, it's been trapping in all those toxins. And there's so many things going on that make people sick. One of them could even be mold. And mold toxins are actually more dangerous than the mold that you don't see, that you don't smell, that's going on out of your awareness and out of sight. So there's one more kind of toxin that is just as dangerous and in some ways even more dangerous. And you don't need to buy a machine of any kind to get rid of this kind of toxin. It's energy vampires. It's the people in your life who, when you see them coming down the street, you either duck in a store or cross the sidewalk and hope they don't see you. Because you know when you're around them, you get drained of your energy because they're sucking it up. Or you're feeling bad because you will come down. Interesting how energy works. Their level doesn't come up to you. Your level goes down to them. It's your choice to take care of your health. And if you have children or you have elderly parents, it's your obligation to see that they are protected too. Again, you can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com and I will see you here next time knowing you've taken action to breathe easier and to have healthier skin.